What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm bringing you my Dialga Origin team. I'm going to do a little bit of a quick team breakdown here, so you can go ahead and skip to the battles if that's all you care about. Dialga Origin is newly available. This is the first time it's actually ever been allowed uh, in VGC, uh, so I figured I might as well try it. I don't know if it's that great. What Dialga Origin does is it takes 20 points out of Dialga's attack and moves it to special defense, which you'd think is like, great, that's just better Dialga. The catch is you have to hold the Adamant Crystal. Now, Adamant Crystal isn't bad. You get a 20% boost to your Dragon and Steel moves. So that boost plus the special defense boost is pretty nice. Uh, the only downside is you can't run a different item and the opponent will know exactly what item you're running. So this Dialga here, for example, could do more damage with all of its moves if it had Flash Cannon, Draco Meteor, Flamethrower, all boosted by Life Orb, for example. Or if I wasn't running Trick Room, I could have an Assault Vest Dialga, which would be even tankier than Origin Dialga in all across the board, but it would do slightly less damage. So I think Origin Dialga is more of an item choice scenario than it is uh, a better form of Dialga. But anyway, what we're doing with this Dialga is we're abusing Trick Room and Telepathy. Dialga is super tanky, so it's pretty easy to set Trick Room with it. And then once you get Trick Room up, you can Earthquake next to it freely with this Guts Ursa Luna. Guts Ursa Luna is Guts Ursa Luna. I'm sure you know that. It's just Terra Normal for the powerful facades. Uh, we also have a Cresselia on this team. It's just another Trick Room setter. It has Lunar Blessing, so if you have a tanky game, uh, you can heal up the Dialga, you can heal up the Ursa Luna, you can heal up anybody. Uh, and it has Mental Herb. It's a little bit more reliable than Dialga in getting up Trick Room. Uh, but it doesn't really do the damage output that Dialga has. Uh, we've got a pretty standard Firewater Grass core that you're going to see in this meta a lot with Ogre Pond and Incineroar. Uh, they're pretty normal. These Incineroar actually has Snarl instead of the normal knockoff. Uh, I think it's pretty good against Calyrex and stuff. Uh, but these are just really important for setting Trick Room, because you have Fake Out, you have Follow Me. So there's a lot of different uh, modes you can go with. This Incineroar is speed crept a little bit. It's not actually slow or min speed or anything. I have 52 EVs in speed, uh, and that's just trying to creep on other Incineroars. I don't know how effective it will be, because uh, the new meta isn't really fully developed. Uh, but previously in Reg F, this, this speed stat on Incineroar did pretty well for me, being faster than other Incineroars. And then the last slot, Choice Specs Fluttermane. I built it a little bit differently than normal. This is a max speed Fluttermane, because the 135 speed tier, uh, <laughs> it's getting pretty crowded. We've got Chen Pao at 135, we've now got Koridon at 135, and Maridon is also 135, along with Fluttermanes being 135. So being max speed gives you at least a speed tie against all of those, except speed booster Fluttermane that's holding its own booster energy. Because if they set sun, you'll also get the speed boost, and you'll be just as fast, if not faster. Uh, totally standard move set, just Fairy Terra. I just made the last move Trick Room just in case, because this team does rely on Trick Room. Dialga is min speed, Ursa Luna is min speed, Cresselia is min speed. So it's important to get Trick Room off. I don't really ever click that move though. It's just a backup option. It, it could be anything. Fluttermane doesn't really need four moves. But anyway, I hope you're excited to go on to the battles. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let's get on to these. Okay, we've got a... Oh jeez. Oh no. It's Love Disc. Oh no. I've heard of this before. Love Disc plus Kyogre. Swift Swim. You entrain your own Kyogre with the Love Disc, giving Kyogre Swift Swim. Oh boy. Okay, well as scary as that is, I don't know if it's an actual problem for Dialga. Um, the entrainment could also work on the Regigigas. Oh, that's, oh, that's terrifying. I'm genuinely scared of a Love Disc, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm, I'm at least glad this is a Regulation G team, but I don't know what to think of any of it. Uh, it's gonna be a Dialga. They don't really have anything in the air, so Dialga Ursa Luna works. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with Ogre Pond on lead to threaten those water types. Uh, bring Ursa Luna in the back, maybe. 
And then, is Cresselia the play? Is Incineroar the play? I've got Terra Water to live. I can live some stuff with Incineroar, but there's not really much intimidable stuff other than, like, Regigigas. Um, I guess I could fake out turn one as well. But that's, I don't know. Uh, maybe a Fluttermane just for the end game. After Trick Room's all said and done. That could be pretty good. I'm gonna try that. Uh... <laughs> Kyogre Love Disc coming at me. Oh, maybe I should try that team at some point. Well, let's see if it does well. I mean, we're Trick Room, so Swift Swim shouldn't be the biggest deal. Oh, cool Scizor shot. It looks like yellow in that in that image, rather than the ugly green that it really is. Okay, it's male and DD lead. I'm wondering... Wow, Dialga's big. Do you have Imprison? You could just skill swap your own slow start away as well, if you're not imprisoning. Uh, I'm gonna Trick Room. If it is Imprison, I need to hit it. So I'll just throw an Ivy Cudgel at it. For now. I don't think I need to follow me. Uh, I guess if Regigigas has a really big move and gets skill swapped away at slow start. Uh, they try to trick, but you can't do that on Dialga Origin. <laughs> that is one big benefit of this item. And they're gone. Crit? No crit? Whoa, Ogre Pond. Whoa, whoa. And that does nothing. You didn't get rid of your ability yet. And I'm trick rooming. Now, actually, the fact that you have slow start might make you slower than these guys anyway. But you're not really a threat if you keep your ability like that. Oh, boy. And I expected them to skill swap. So if they had skill swapped, I would be slower with the trick. Ah, you got your own steel dragon type. Mine's just way bigger. Way bigger. Um, is Ursaluna a safe swap in to the Ogre Pond slot? Oh, I could even I could actually bring in Ursaluna and use Follow Me this turn. Yeah, I could set it up that way. Uh, Regigigas swaps out. That's fine. That's fine. Into Kyogre. Sure, fine. I'm gonna. Oh, I guess maybe you're going after the Ogre Pond then. Ah, oh, I could have swapped Ogre Pine. You're gonna electroshot it, aren't you? I knew I should have just brought it in then that slot. Oh well. That's fine, whatever. I could throw a big nasty earthquake. Next turn. Um, do I Terra Ursa Luna? and go for Facade into Kyogre. That might be better than hitting our Chaladon right now. Yeah, I think a Terra Normal Facade and just a Follow Me this turn is fine. Uh, I don't want them to like protect and then uh, hit my bear with our Chaladon. If bear can Take Kyogre, I'm happy with that trade. Oh, they're swapping our Chaladon out. Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't care about Regigigas. I don't think you have a way to get rid of slow start anymore. And here's our Terra. I would be shocked if the Kyogre was slower than a min speed bear, so this makes sense to go first. And let's see what we can do to a Kyogre. No Protect from the Kyogre, no Terra from the Kyogre. Though I don't think I've ever heard of a Kyogre with a Terra that resists normal. I guess Steel kinda makes sense, but... Kyogre just got deleted by the bear. Oh, they're Rocky Helmet? Oh, they're probably bulky too, and you just got deleted. Awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, our Chaladon is not going to appreciate an Earthquake, so I'm just going to Earthquake and bring back Dialga. Whoa. 
Here we go with Earthquake, and here we go with Dialga. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Please don't forfeit. I want Dialga to actually do something in this game. I mean, it's set Trick Room. <laughs> it took a Drain Punch really well. But this bear, like, don't forget that there's old Pokemon that are still really good. You don't have to sweep with your Restricted. Alright, a Terra. That makes sense. You don't want to be weak to ground. Oh, Regigigas Terra into Ghost. No, I'll, I'm not going for a facade on you. That's alright. You are not the threat. You, This game will be over long before you become a threat. And is that a sturdier Chalodon? No, they just live on one. Okay. Cool, I guess. Ursaluna takes nothing from that. Uh, but our Chalodon should be able to knock out the bear from here. If that's what they're going for. Let's see. You can take out the bear. You can take out Dialga. Well, you can't take out Dialga with that. Oh, that's going to bounce right off. Yeah. Okay. Good try. Alright, we're going to Earthquake. And that won't knock out the Regigigas, which is great, because that means Dialga will get to attack. Wide Guard! Okay. I did not think I didn't think that got that. That's great. This game this game is still they're not out of it yet. They're kinda out of it. But they're not out of it yet. Oh, are you going to blow up Dialga? That would be pretty big. With like a uh, Draco Meteor. Flash Cannon crits and takes out Regigigas. I don't know if we needed that. A max special attack. And the crystal gives a 20% power boost to that. And body press the bear. Okay. Fine. Uh, we confirm our, Di our Dialga is slower than your Archaladon. Which makes sense. I'm min speed on this Dialga. Yes, I do have a min speed shiny Dialga. Oh, the dimensions are ended. Okay. That's fine. Uh, Fluttermane cleanup? Yeah, Fluttermane cleanup. That's what she's here for. Oh, and she's shiny too. Forgot about that. Uh, Moonblast, and. I guess Flash Cannon doesn't miss. And they stayed in, and they go down. Another crit. I'm just getting crits left and right, none of which matter, I'm pretty sure. Critting that Archaladon earlier would have been nice. Good game, opponent. Good game, bear. All right, Cam, what do you got? Uh, that's a regulation F team. Okay. We'll play you anyway. Uh, you've got some threats, though. Uh, Armor Rouge could have wide guard. That could stop the bear. Uh, Annihilate is always terrifying. Um, who do they have that could beat up? I don't even know. Cinderace maybe gets it. Inteleon maybe gets it. Uh, I do think the bear is pretty good. An Iron Defense Slowbro, unironically, is really scary. Um, I'm gonna need a redirection then. Uh, I think I'm happy to Dialga Bear on lead with Ogre Pond in the back. Um, do I want Cresselia to slow this game down, or do I want Fluttermane to close out? Um, I do think I have more bulk than them. I think the game might go too fast. If they get set up with their Annihilate, they could up the tempo too much, and Cresselia can't keep up with that. So I'm gonna go with- that. that's why I'm gonna go with Fluttermane last. Uh, I don't want to bring Incineroar, because that would just piss off the Annihilate. Uh... <laughs> And it doesn't really... I mean, it's good against Armor Rouge and maybe Cinderace. It, it doesn't seem like an Incineroar game. There's nothing big, physical, that I want to intimidate. Alright, oh, they're taking their time. Zero, zero, zero. Do they time out? Cinderace 8 bleed would be fine by me if they timed out, because I don't want to see Slowbro. <laughs> Slowbro is genuinely kind of scary. I don't think it's a particularly good Iron Defense bot, but it is an Iron Defense bot who's immune to taunt. Oh, no trainer card. It could also learn Trick Room. 
Uh, also being slower than my bear is- Oh no, they didn't time out. Oh, yeah. Do I even want to set Trick Room? Wow! That Haxorus is so small compared to Dialga. What the heck? Oh, do I even want Trick Room? I think I want to just blow up Haxorus and protect. There's a chance they set Trick Room themselves. Just trying to reverse mine or something. I don't know if they would even predict me to use Trick Room. That did a lot of damage. Goodbye. Yeah, need you gone. Thanks. And what's the slow bro doing? Don't tell me it's iron defense. I'm cool with Trick Room. I'm cool with the Surf. Oh, Surf is fine. Yeah. That will that'll, that'll do good damage to the bear. I might have to go for Terra Normal Facade right into that. Maybe even back it up with a hit from Dialga. Because I don't, if I remember, the other rest of the team wasn't that scary, except like Ape. Ape is here! Ah, uh, they're gonna surf to power up their own Rage Fist. Oh, uh, I'm gonna bring in. F uh. I'm gonna set Trick Room. And I'm gonna Terra Normal Facade the Slowbro. Because if Slowbro's gone, Trick Room is good. Uh, there's a good chance Bear is faster than Slowbro, even though Bear is min speed. Uh, so if I can take it out before it hits its own ape, that'd be good. Uh, Bear is immune to Ghost, but I mean, the fighting moves are still gonna hurt. That's why I need Trick Room up so I can move first. Then I'll probably swap out into Ogre Pond to reset the special attack drop and protect the bear so I can redirect any moves. I think I can take one hit from norm from standard ape, I should be able to take one hit. If it's choice band close combat or something, I just probably lose this turn. Okay, I'm tearing, so they're probably not. Let's go bear! This is- the, I, I swear, this is supposed to be a Dialga video. It's turning into a bear video. It is close combat! Oh no! Oh no! Uh oh. Bye Dialga, I guess it's not your video. Alright, uh, I guess we could redirect the close combat next turn. And Slowbro does go down, that's good. Thank you for not iron defensing turn one. Okay. They didn't burn Terra yet, so I can't trust that Fluttermane can just delete that. They could also be Scarf. I don't know. They could be. They could be Scarf, which means Fluttermane would move second anyway. So it's Ogre Pond, and who's your last? Maybe I should just focus down PokeRay.com. Oh. Okay. I kind of like Follow Me Earthquake. I'm not gonna lie. Follow Me the Ogre Pond. Presumably Ogre Pond goes down. If not, it will to Earthquake. Uh, I guess they could double protect here. Ogre Pond would live in Earthquake if they double protect, though. And bringing in Fluttermane in this position would actually be pretty good now. Because if they are Scarf on the Ape, you can't touch Fluttermane. And if you're not Scarf on the Ape, uh, Fluttermane's faster than both of those. Um, oh, we could get a uh, Libero Cinderace with like a flying move. And then Earthquake just whiffs. <laughs> that could be annoying. Uh, they could obviously protect one and attack with the other. No, they're not. Okay, they're not protecting. It's double kick. Okay. Uh, double kick m might be Scarf. I've heard of double kick Cinderace to erase Chen Pao's with Scarf. And they just close combat. Ogre Pond eats that. You lower your defense. And does Earthquake knock out a fighting type Cinderace? I wouldn't think so, but maybe. Yeah, Bear's a beast. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. This is a Dialga video. 
Uh. Okay. Let's, um, move on, I guess. See if we can get Dialga to do something. Uh, great game, Cam. <laughs> okay, we have got a Kyurem team. Kyurem is so strong. I'm actually scared of that. Uh, Ice is neutral on Dialga. I don't have a Terra that can take that. I guess I need to lead Incineroar for a fake out so I can get Trick Room up. Yeah, that's what I need to do. Lead with Fake Out. Uh, they could lead Rillaboom, which would be a faster Fake Out. That could be bad. Uh, and then they probably have Water Urshifu. Uh, so maybe I need Ogre Pond for that? I don't know. Because if they lead like Rillaboom Urshifu, they can just get rid of something. That's the worst possible lead, would be Rillaboom Urshifu. If I lead Incineroar, we might be okay with the uh, Kyurem Ninetales lead. Uh, Tailwind shouldn't matter. They, they probably won't bring that. If they have Taunt, maybe they can stop Trick Room that way. I don't think this is a... This might be a Crest game. Earthquake won't do much, honestly, anyway. Gonna, well, I can click Facade into all of those. They don't have any ghosts yet. <laughs> Something could turn into a ghost at some point, but they don't have any ghosts yet. So it's gonna, probably going to be a Facade clicking game. Hopefully it's a Dialga surviving past turn one game. Hopefully they get a trainer card after this. Alright, what do you got? Tornadus and Fire. Great! Uh, who gets the fake out off first? Let's see. You have a fast Incineroar. Ugh, fine. That's fine. I will use that. I will parting shot into your Incineroar. <laughs> no, I will parting shot into your Tornadus. Incineroar, your Incineroar already has an attack drop. I will either get this parting shot into Tornadus, or I will get this Trick Room. Maybe both. Oh, uh, I guess you could fake out and taunt. That would be the worst case scenario. Fake out my Ensign. And then taunt my Dialga. If you even see Trick Room Dialga Origin coming. Oh, they did fake out Incineroar. Oh, uh, but they said Tailwind. That's great. I'm so cool with that. 100% cool with that. I will flinch and I will not care. Alrighty. Uh, now my Incineroar is fastest on the field. I could hard swap into the bear, but there's no point in that. I might as well parting shot their Tornadus. Oh, a knockoff into my Incin right here would be annoying. I might be able to knock out their Tornadus, like... Just with a double up? Do I want to do that? No, I want to get the bear in as soon as possible. I want a parting shot. I want a Parting Shot Tornadus, and I'll just throw a Flash Cannon at Tornadus as well. I don't want to commit Draco Meteor here, even though it definitely would have KO'd. Okay, no Prankster move from Torn, that's fine. A minus one Bleak Wind isn't a big problem. The biggest problem possible would be a knockoff into the bear here. But since it's Bleak Wind, I don't want to go into Ogre Pond instead. A knockoff, it wouldn't do a lot of damage, it would just remove the flame, which would be annoying. Uh, parting Shot Dialga, fine. Aw, oh, I should have committed the Draco then. Uh, you'd probably then go into, like, Rillaboom. Rillaboom would make sense. Uh, and then you can bring back in your Incineroar for another Intimidate and another Fake Out. Oh, with Ninetales. I don't care. Leakland Storm does nothing. I don't care. That was a crit on Dialga. Or Speedfall on Ursaluna? Great, thank you. I prefer that. Uh, do I commit Terra? 
Probably not. I think I'll just Facade and Flash Cannon the Ninetales. Torn swaps into Incineroar. I didn't want to hard read and, and use the uh, Headlong Rush. I figured Facade would be good enough into Incineroar. Like, that that was pretty obviously going to happen. They might Terra Ninetales now. They're not. That's cool. Aw, uh, Terra normal Facade would have done it. I should have committed. And now there's a chance they Blizzard. I think they would Aurora Veil, though. If they're Sash and survive anyway. No, they're not even Sash. Okay, they weren't ever going to do anything. That's fine. Thank you for the momentum. Your last is definitely Kira. So you don't have Rillaboom. Rillaboom was your best bet. You're in trouble. Yeah, Tornadus. Okay. I will Facade. And I will... Uh, maybe I should consider getting something out. How's this Trick Room going? Two more turns. I'll switch something later. I will... If Incineroar fakes out Dialga... I don't really care about what Tornadus does. I'm gonna just Earthquake and Flash Cannon. Yeah, you just you just hit her Saluna and I take out your Tornadus. That's fine. Yeah, that's totally cool. Totally cool. I was gonna get a KO one way or another. Uh, now you probably bring in Kirem. I assume that's your last, and you can protect it. And then you can start spamming Blizzard, which is kind of scary. And by kinda, I mean extremely scary. Like, Kyurem could still win this game, Scary. To only two turns of snow, though. I can work with that. Earthquake. Flash Cannon for now. You just protect Kyurem. Or you defensively Terra Kyurem. Can you take an Earthquake and a Flash Cannon? Not as Ice. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You're not going to take this double up. I don't think. I'm a minus one Dialga. That's plenty. Hoping, oh jeez, they better die, they better die. Earthquake will do nothing. Earthquake, Earthquake's gonna bounce right off them, I bet. Should take instant though. Uh, that, no, that was decent damage. That was decent damage. I only crit the instant, the instant was going down anyway. I think Flash Cannon at minus one takes them. Come on, Dialga. Yeah, all right. Good job, Dialga, you're actually doing stuff. Good game opponent. I, I think it would have been more difficult if they had brought Rillaboom, but like Rillaboom can't really hit Dialga, so I see why they probably decided not to go that route. Either way, good game. Get a trainer card. All right, Nick. Uh, Zamazenta team, let's go. All right, they got the Rillaboom, they got the Incin, they got the Gouging Fire Tinglu. They've got Spectrier. I don't know what to think about Spectrier. Uh, I know what to think about Zamazenta. I'm terrified. I need a special attacker to hit Zamazenta. And it just happens to be a steel type, so Dialga can barely hit it. I guess I can flamethrower. Oh, jeez. This is going to be rough. Uh, Intimidate is great against them. Incineroar is coming 110%. Uh, Fluttermane is immune to body press, but probably gets O-Code by Zamazenta. Unless I throw down some Intimidates. Uh, it's definitely a Dialga Insin lead. They probably have a faster Fake Out user. Getting Trick Room up would be nice. Cresselia probably can't do enough to Zamazenta. I don't even know what form of Zamazenta they are, so maybe. Uh, I think Fluttermane in the back would actually be pretty good for the endgame. But... Who else? I guess if I'm committing to Trick Room, I should bring Ursaluna. It's my best damage dealer. Like it can not, it can probably do a lot of damage to Zamazenta. If it only gets like one body uh, iron defense up to boost its body press, plus three defense. If it's a, if it's the steel one, it should take a lot from high horsepower. I don't know who that is. 
not high horsepower, uh, headlong rush. The better ground move. Zamazenta Instant. Uh, show me that I'm the faster instant, please. That would be really nice right now. Yeah, Dauntless Shield is first. My Intimidate is second. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get this Trick Room going. Trickity Room. Fakity out. And like, yeah, the Ensign is gonna be able to Parting Shot my Dialga next turn, but like, we double into this crazy... Oh lord, that's a one-shot! Oh, it's a crit! Oh! Oh! Um... Uh... Okay, shake it off. Uh, you, you can still win this. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. I don't think that was supposed to KO. <laughs> but I can't say I know my Zamazenta calcs that well. Oh, jeez. Yeah, don't care. I'm doubling it with Fluttermane. I might live a bash with Intimidate. I need to... I'm Terra Fairy. I need to delete Zamazenta. Uh, do I burn Terra on that, or do I save it for Earth? They have Rillaboom. I need it on Ursa Luna. Yeah, I need it now on instant. Oh, jeez. I don't think they'll target instant. Oh, they just... <laughs> uh, oh, boy. Okay, go ahead, parting shot my Fluttermane. I know you want to. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, oh geez. Oh geez. Zamazenta. Is Zamazenta good now? I think it might be. Zamazenta never really got much respect before it got body pressed. I think the nerf is pretty significant. Like, it lost defense points, and it lost... Oh, and it's really cool. Well, I'm glad I didn't tear off Fluttermane, I guess. I'm glad I didn't Terra either of these last turn. But I, I still need to Moonblast. And I still need Zamazenta gone. Flare Bliss is the only damaging move I have on it, really. And they do have Rillaboom, so I want to save my... That won't KO Fluttermane, that's fine. Okay, they're letting me double. If Incineroar can live. Okay, yeah, just bash. Hopefully Incineroar can knock out from there. That was... that took that really well. I guess it was a minus one, but that was still specs. What? Huh? That did nothing! That did nothing! That did no damage! Oh my god. I did no damage. Okay. My Incineroar Intimidate, it was, but like, still, at least do some damage. I guess I protect Earth and try to Flare Blitz the Rillaboom. Oh, they didn't swap in Incineroar. I guess they probably should have, but. Oh, I lose. I lose. Now they can Oko the Bear. Uh, can I get a crit here? No. I don't deserve a crit. No, I'm faster than you. That's weird. Um, what's my win condition? This is 100% over, but I know I'm faster than Rillaboom. So, 
I double protect Ursaluna. This only it only works if they go after Ursaluna. So I double protect Ursaluna. I outspeed the Rillaboom. Zamazenta tries to hit Ursaluna and fails because of the protect. And then Flare Blitz crits Zamazenta, Okoing it. And then Ursaluna can get fake out and then wood hammered. And then try to. I still probably lose, but it's my only shot. They just protect Zamazenta. Okay, fail, fail to protect. Fail Ursaluna. Thank you. Um, and then you have to. Grassy Glide it. That's okay. I guess we've got a new win condition? And that would be a crit earthquake? I still don't see how we win, because they're going to knock out Incineroar with body press. Even if I Terra Water, it, we're, we're in KO range. I can Terra Normal this, but Earthquake is reduced. It's not going to be able to knock out Rillaboom, and two glides takes Ursa Luna. My win condition is they throw. They try to body press Ursa Luna, and I still need the crit on the Zamazenta. I really need the crit on the Zamazenta. Uh, they're intimidating so that they can cover for Ursa Luna uh, having some sort of Terra that helps here. It would be my guess. They expect that to Terra so that Grassy Glide doesn't KO. Oh! Oh! They're giving me a chance. Incineroar, if you've ever felt like critting, do it now. Do it now, right now, right here. Yeah, it didn't. <laughs> that did nothing! That did no damage! Oh my goodness! Oh my god! What am I supposed to do? The grass is gone at least. Yeah, grass is gone. Now I have two shots to crit Zamazenta. You can fake out one and body press the other. You fake out Incin, body press Ursa Luna, and then I just lose. How do I get around that? I double protect <laughs> and get the, and then I I get flinched on Incin, and then I get triple protect. And then I crit a Flare Blitz. These odds are just getting worse and worse. Okay, good game. Just kill me, please. Put me out of my misery. They fake out of the Ursa Luna. Yeah, I never had a chance. Okay. Oh, thank you for finally KOing Incineroar so that it's actually over. I, I cannot win now. It is now actually unwinnable. Thank you for doing that to me. I could not quit until it was actually unwinnable. Oh. I might Terra Ghost this bear next time. <laughs> next time, maybe I'll drop the Terra Normal for Terra Ghost. Good game to my opponent. Uh, I'm sorry for uh, making you do that there at the end. But as long as I have a chance to win, I, I don't give up. Alright, good ga great game. I love Zamazenta. Zamazenta, I think, is actually really good now. And it counters the Alga hard. Okay, Gunner, uh, Maridon team with the weirdest combos I've seen. The one I'm scared of is Alcremy. Alcremy with Decorate plus Maridon. That's probably the scariest thing I've heard of all day. Uh, they have two Intimidate Immune physical attackers. Sorry, Ensign. Uh, but then they have two that aren't Intimidate Immune, so maybe Ensign. Maybe I spoke too soon. Ensign also has Snarl on this team, so that could help a lot against Maridon. Um, <laughs> there's so much power, and the fact that they have Decorate makes me want to lead with Ogre Pond, because I can redirect the, the, the turn one burst damage Maridon can do. I don't know if Dialga can take, like, a Specs Draco Meteor, for example. Uh, just redirect that into Ogre Pond, and also, if they try to go with Decorate's turn one, I can get them on my Ogre Pond instead. Ursaluna's great. I, I have no problems with Ursaluna. 
The only problem with Earth's Luna might be Snorlax underspeeding it. That's fine. And then Fluttermane is faster than Maridon. Should be faster than their whole team. Especially if they go with E-Speed Dragonite. Because then yeah, I can't get hit by that. Yeah, I think that's a good play. Not a Cresselia game. Cresselia is for them slower games. They've got too much power. I don't think this is a slow game. <laughs> I don't think we've had a slow game all day. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, what, what you gonna lead? What you gonna lead? Oh, cool. Shiny victory bell? Nice one, Gunner. Okay. Okay. It is Snorlax and Alchemy. That's fine. I need to follow me, but I don't want Trick Room. I want a Flash Cannon and the Alchemy. I want to... I want a Flash Cannon and the Snorlax. I want a Draco me to do the Snorlax, but I also don't want to do that. I just want to chip it. I don't, I don't think Draco Oko's a Snorlax. So I want to just chip it with Flash Cannon and then go for the Draco next turn. Paragrass. Okay, yeah. So Ogre Pond can't hurt you. That makes sense. Uh, you're probably Thick Fat if you're Terra Grass. So I won't Flamethrower you. Thank you for the decorate. <laughs> Ogre Pond appreciates it. You're faster than Dialga. That's good to know. That did nothing! That did actual no damage. Wow. Wow. Um, I can bring in Ursa Luna and just... Obviously my Ogre Pond is the threat now. So I could bring in Ursa Luna... and delete the alchemy. Plus two cudgel should delete alchemy, right? Maybe they're faster than Ogre Pond too, though, and they finally get their boost that they wanted on Snorlax. Okay, they just protect. That's fine. Ivy Cudgel goes bonk. Alchemy does not take any damage. Snorlax has Hammer Arm! One good thing about that is they reduce their speed. So even if they weren't a min speed Snorlax, they are now slower than Ursaluna. They are tanky as heck, so I'm gonna facade them. And I will actually follow me this time. I don't want Alchemy pulling out like, I don't know, what's that uh, new fairy move it gets? I don't want it to just do that and hit my bear. But I've got two really powerful Pokemon on the field now. I just need to hit stuff, and it will go down. Yep, Follow Me comes out. No protecting this turn. That's good. That might be an Assault Vest Snorlax, based on how little it did. Oh, and you give me another Decorate. Thank you. I guess they thought I was going to try to attack this turn. They were trying to... uh boost up their Snorlax, but they slowed down their Snorlax, so it's gone. Goodbye, good riddance, plus four <laughs> Ogre Pond, thank you. <laughs> Even though my Ogre Pond is plus four, I might just continue to follow me, sacrifice it, I don't know. I don't want them to decorate something else. Especially a Maridon, holy cow. Nah, uh-uh. Uh-uh. You ain't decorating that. Should I... Are they gonna protect their Maridon? Decorate goes through. Uh, Earthquake shouldn't KO Ogre Pond anyway. I have to cover for the protect. Okay, they didn't protect, thank goodness. Now you probably knock out Ogre Pond. Yeah, Electro Drip should do it. Sorry, Ogre Pond. 
but as long as you can't KO my bear with alchemy. Oh, you just go for decorate. That's fine. You can do that now. Sure. You're not gonna live the turn. Too late. Too little too late. Goodbye and goodbye. Uh, Sash Alchemy makes sense. They were being a little bit bold with it. I'm not, I'm not surprised they're Focus Sash. But Maridon going down is amazing. Uh, who they could have left? They could have Dragonite. They could have Mamoswine. They could have... Um, who was their other one? I think I want Fluttermane in now. Oh, it's Dragonite. Good. Okay, Fluttermane's the right choice. They can't Terra. And I'm gonna click Dazzling Gleam because I don't want them to be like a Protect Dragonite. And then they decorate their Dragonite. Because I tried to Moonblast it. Uh, so I'll try to facade the Dragonite and I will just Dazzling Gleam and that should clean up everything. Sure. You take out Ursaluna with a crit? That's fine. Uh, maybe you were a choice band. I don't know. I don't think I was in range, but I could have been in range. But Dazzling Gleam will take out your Alchemy and maybe your Dragonite. Yep. Goodbye, goodbye. Thank you for the cleanup, Fluttermane. And that's O-Dub. Alchemy plus Maridon. That's crazy. I like that a lot. That's so crazy. Good game, Gunner. And we are back with the rental code. I think if there's anything we learned today, it's don't sleep on Ursa Luna, first of all. Ursa Luna felt more like my restricted than Dialga did in this video. And also, don't sleep on Zamazenta. Zamazenta is crazy. I might have to go back to the drawing board and figure out how I'm supposed to beat it. Uh, I assume not getting crit would help beat it, but you can't really do that, you know? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.